Hi and welcome back to the Player YouTube channel and this week I've got something really special. If you haven't already guessed, this is the latest Arb Bath and it's not just any old Arb Bath. This is the pinnacle of Arb Bath's technology and the way they've built cars for the last 70 years because this is a 70 year anniversary car as well which makes it all that much more special. In actual fact, it's so special, they've named it twice. It's the SA SA. Yeah. Well, that's what we were told how to pronounce it. Personally, if you look at the badge, I think you call it the ESS, ESS, something like that. Yeah, and that wasn't a pause in the editing either. That was exactly how it looks. Um, enough waffle. Let's get around it. Let's get underneath it. Let's get it out on the road and let you know if this car is worth 26,000 British pounds. Let's find out. Right, before we get it out on the road and look underneath, let's have a quick look around the car itself. And the first thing that we noticed, and I think a lot of other people who have reviewed this car haven't noticed, if you look in the grille here, you see it actually says our bath. It's absolutely amazing. Little attention to detail makes all the difference. Carbon splitter down the bottom here, and all of these vents that you're looking at here, they're all 100% functional. We like that a lot. Two lovely little fogs down the bottom there. Xenon headlights on this. Uh, they come as an option, but I think you can upgrade it to an LED if you want to. Can't see any point. Love the Xenons. Love the look of this car. The whole sitting, the way it sits, the way it's, it, its whole stature is just stunning. Let's carry on. Down the side, first thing you'll notice is some lovely little 17-inch white sports alloys. And, not forgetting, those beautiful little red Brembo calipers, because it's Brembo's all round on this car, as well as Coney suspension. We'll talk about the suspension when we get out on the road, because at this point, I've just about got my teeth left in there. Um, irrespective of that, we do get some foldy in mirrors, but you have to do them manually, and they are carbon fiber, which looks rather nice. So down the side here, you get your big old bath sticker. Got to have your old bath sticker. Your 595 badge, and of course your 70 years anniversary badge as well. All in all, I think the car looks pretty tasty from the side. Let's get around the back and see what it looks like around there. So around at the back, you get a massive great roof spoiler. I like that actually. You get a pointless rear wash and wipe and a nice big R bath badge. We like that too because it's got the big scorpion on it. Um, trim wise, well, you get these lights and there's a bit missing in the middle and you sort of think to yourself, maybe they were designing it and they just forgot about the bit in the middle because it really is a bit of waste of space that. It's, it's quite a shame because I think they could have made more use of that. You get your badge at the back, the 5.9, and then the, uh, so good they named it twice, yes, 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 whatever it's called. Um, but then best of all, you get the large rear bumper with the big diffuser. Look at that. But hiding in there is my favorite part of this car. That is the Akrapovich exhaust. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's probably not the proper way to pronounce it. The guy who invented that was Igor Akrapovich. And if I'm saying his name wrong, I do apologise, Igor, but he made motorbike parts and they couldn't get really good exhaust for them. Or if they could, they were really expensive where they came from. And I believe they were out in Croatia or somewhere around there. And they decided to make their own. And now this is the first time ever they've actually put one on an Arbath. And it is stunning. It makes a huge difference to this car. Makes it sound great, makes it go great. It is absolutely wonderful. A Krapovich exhaust, big, big, uh, major fan of them. Let's have a look inside because this doesn't have an assisted electronic tail lift as you would expect, even though this is what I regard as the DLGC on steroids. And you're probably saying, what's a DLGC? Well, daddy's little girl's car. But this one isn't. This is on steroids. This is a proper Dally's little girl's car. In the boot here, which is no larger than being able to take your hamster out on a Sunday afternoon, because you're not going to... Well, mind you, if you're a DLGC, you have your little doggies in here, wouldn't you? I forgot about that. You get about five chihuahuas in here. Anyway, underneath the chihuahuas, once you've thrown them out, there is nothing in here. There is no spare wheel. There is a puncture repair kit. But, I mean, come on. Are you going to figure out how to use that? Not really. So, this is where I come back to my DLGC thing. This could be a daddy's little boy's car because, Dad, I've got a puncture. Dad, my wheels come off. That could be the reason. Now, ready for the award? This is the award for the smallest parcel shelf in the world. Here we go. Look at that. Fantastic. Who actually thought we might as well put a parcel shelf in there? Eh? What is the point? 
Right, do the seats go down? Yes, they do, but they don't go any further than that because the seats are in the way there. So you'd have to sit as if you were driving it sitting on the actual steering wheel. But you will get a couple more animals in here if you wanted to, or a large vanity case, which you'll probably need to take all your photographic equipment where you're doing your selfies. All in all, I'm not over keen on the inside at the back, as you've probably gathered. It's not a lot of room, but who bloody cares? At the end of the day, this thing is just so much fun. Let's get in the front before we get it out on the road, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Now here we are up front. First thing before I jump in, check out these seats. They are absolutely amazing. It's just, I love the material and everything. They've got a big a bath on them, it says 70 as well, meaning the 70 years again. But I've got to do it. I've got to put my finger behind. It's like in a big ejector button. Look, this big red button pulls it forward. Look at this carbon. Oh my God. This is where your 26 grand's going. Your seats are probably about two and a half grand each. Right, we'll bring that back. I'm going to climb in quickly and show you because oh, yeah when you get to my age it's probably not the best seat in the world because your back fat gets squeezed right in but then it is nice and snug and comfy first things first real handbrake real handbrake <laughs> love that absolutely love it and it's manual as well all of this is just total yeah misbehavior car that's what i'm going to call it it's the misbehavior car you get a double cup holder down here that's to put your your coke or your sprite or whatever because you don't drink coffee when you're when you're young and you're driving one of these however you only get one usb charger down there or usb port um so that's going to be an argument with the girlfriend straight away um you you do get a 12 volt adapter there i'm sure that'll come in handy these are your two window things now what i have noticed driving this car if i shut the door here every time i went to open the window i keep going over there and it's the wing mirror which is really annoying so you have to get used to that um, they've kept things pretty simple in here, but there again, if it is going to be a, a DLGC or a DLBC's car, um, I think it needs to be simple. Heating controls, big snowy button up the top, air con. Auto means it's going to do it itself. Temperature gauge, nice and simple, it even glows for you so you can tell. And if you do want to do it manually, might be a little bit of an effort. You push that like that and the heating fan starts to go up, really nice. Upwards, middle and downwards and the rear windscreen very nice all very easy to use as well tft touchscreen not a bad size either look it's almost as big as my hand goes with the car though anything i don't like is this turbo gauge up here and the turbo gauge does get rather mad when it gets into asbo mode and there's the asbo button guys look check it out that's the asbo button sorry it's a sport button sport that's it sport button asbo button what am i talking about and that makes that completely different but on the foreign cars those ones from over the other side of the channel um that isn't up there, that's down here. It's hidden away. I do think that gets in the way a bit. It's a bit stupid, a bit pointless. You're not, I mean, you're not gonna drive it according to that. Loads of more carbon fiber, more money, love it. Glove box, yes. It's not that bad a size actually, look at it. And you get a nice little book with some red trim in there. Really cool, we'll put that back in there. Um, to be honest, the steering wheel, this is another little niggly bit. Look at the, yeah, look, you can't go in and out. I can't pull it out, it's stuck there. So you need quite long arms or you have to move your seat right forward and you end up driving like that. And we all know what that means. Right hand side of the steering wheel, up and down, change the stations on the radio, get DAB radio with this, you get Bluetooth so you can plug your phone in and obviously if you want to pay an extra 300 British pounds, you can have Apple Play as well. Um, on the right here is the telephone system as well because we know you're not allowed to use the telephone when you're driving so here you can make calls and do things without even having to look down or even touch your phone which is good and lovely and legal as well the actual steering wheel itself i really like it's got little bits of Al 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 alcantara <laughs> that's the one that's made in turkey alcantara there it is and a bit more carbon fiber around here as well tons and tons of carbon fiber on this car absolutely love it um you get a nice decent nav system with this as well and all in all you do get two little cup holders in the back for your passengers but are you really going to take anyone in the back mm, doubt it get a decent little stereo sound system on this it's the old uh, beat speakers there really love that it's just a really spanking little car love it let's get the bonnet open there's a latch over there and i'll tell you a little bit about what engines in this car Right, here we are under the bonnet, and if compactness was ever compacted into a word, this would be the ultimate of compactness. Look at that, guys. I mean, it is, it's, there's no room for anything in it. You can't even get your hands in it. Let's talk about the engine. So, it's a 1.4, and it's what they call an inline four. So, it's a four cylinder inline. 
Um, it develops around 180 brake horsepower and around 270 newton meters of torque. And all of that is controlled through the front wheels through a new sort of style of limited slip diff that Abarth have produced. This is what Abarth do so well. They do this so well indeed. Now, hidden under here is something very, very special. It's a Garrett Turbo. Never heard of it? Let me explain. Garrett in 1936 started building turbochargers for those big Caterpillar trucks. And then they became really successful at that and they got a job doing Formula One cars and touring cars and all things like that. And they're now one of the, the people in the world to go to if you need a turbocharger. The biggest turbocharger they make, just for stupid information, is 1,800 horsepower. I'll let you work that one out. Imagine that on this. That'd be just mental, wouldn't it? It'd be doing wheelies up the road. All in all, this little car will propel you from 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds. Doesn't sound much, but trust me, when you sat behind the seat and this thing is absolutely rip-roaring its backside off, it really feels a lot faster than that. Top speed, 140 mile an hour. Not sure I'd want to do 140 mile an hour in this car. However, if I was on the track, I'd definitely give it a try. Now all we need to do, guys, is get this out on the road and show you what it goes like. <laughs> and oh boy, are you in for a treat. Right, here we are out in the little Arbath. And I say the little because this is a little car with a big, big heart. In actual fact, under that bonnet is a very, very angry Italian. That's the only way I can describe it because every time you go to accelerate in this car, he's like, no, don't change the gear. You keep it to first gear, maybe no go more than second gear because I want to rev my bollocks off. You know what I say? I want it to go like this, you know? <laughs> That's the only way I can describe driving this car. The other way, you have to put the window down. Now, on a warm day, it's going to be fine. You're not going to worry. When you're phonically challenged like me, you're going to need a hat, you're going to need a new jacket because you're going to have this open all the time. There's a reason. It's not because it smells in here or anything. It's because that little Atrapovich exhaust, every time you put your foot down, Forget it, don't even talk about it. What's the point? You shove petrol in this for the pure fun of driving. And to be honest, oh, just listen there. I'm gonna shut the window because I just get, I get so juiced up. Boys, girls, I just, you have no idea what this does to me. All these years of driving cars and then suddenly I get thrown different cars and I have to review them and talk about them. It's just a pure pleasure. I just so love doing it. So please excuse me if I become very passionate about these cars. Not every car, if you look back over some of the other videos we've done, I don't get so passionate, but these little cars and, and the little ones that just on the back of your neck stand up, you know, it's just something about these cars, I love it. Um, the Coney suspension, well, I, I hope if you buy one of these, your next door neighbour or a very good friend is a dentist, because you're going to need it. <laughs> oh, and a chiropractor as well to sort your back out, because this thing is so solid, so hard, it's like just bouncing around. It's so good these days that these cameras have got stabilisation because to be honest, I think all you would hear at the moment, all you'd see is my teeth going like that. And, and at the same time, all you, would, all you would see is me bouncing up and down. You wouldn't see anything else. Thank God for stabilisation, guys. There you go. Oh, right, so we've got a nice little run up here. I mean, this car feels so fast, but at the same time, it feels so planted. It's even in the wet. I had it out in the wet earlier. And it was just, you know, one of those cars that just know you can push it that little bit extra, you know, just get that bit more out of it. It's just so nice and set up the way the whole thing is. And I love the suspension on this. It's, you're not going to drive 100 miles in this car and get out and feel like you've just got in it again. You're going to get out with a bad back, your teeth smashed. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest smile on your face in the world. <laughs> That's what I love. If you want to see one of these perform, not this particular car, I took a 695 around Brands Hatch. And I mean, I absolutely, when I say took it around Brands Hatch, I was taken around with a professional race driver who showed me how you could throw this thing about. Well, he, he taught me how to do it. Watch it up there now, guys. It's about five, six minutes. There's a couple of my uh, competition, you know, that also review cars 
that were there as well, they, they're featured in it, but I don't mind punting them a little bit. I'm, I'm not shy, <laughs> as you well know if you watch me that often. Um, guys, listen, this has been a fantastic experience. If you get the opportunity, go down to an Abarth garage and take one of these out for a test drive. And when you get in it, say to them, AJ, the player said to me, I've got to rag the tits off this when I get out on the road. And if the guy says to, him, to you, go ahead, Mr. Smith, or whatever your name is, take advantage of it and thoroughly enjoy your test drive in the above 595 ESSSA. They're so good they named it twice. Don't forget, subscribe, like and comment at your peril. I love your comments. Thanks for all the comments coming in, guys. Really appreciate it. And um, yeah, you've been watching me, AJ the Player. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next week with another car. Perhaps not as interesting as this car and nowhere near as much fun, but far more practical. Watch out for it. Catch you next week. Safe driving, guys.